Oh, plenty of reason to be fired up if you're KJ Costello. Healthy enough to play in the win against Arizona. They scored 41 points. Season high. Also a season high in terms of what the quarterbacks have done this season. Over 300 yards in the game for KJ Costello, who joins us here on Pac-12 Network. I saw your face as you were watching yourself kind of after that game. What's it like to, to – you were a couple days obviously past that win, but to relive it with us and, and get a victory after the Arizona game. What's it like for you to see it? Oh man, just bring me back to a fun time. I think uh, we all play this game for one reason, and that's to win, compete week in and week out. And uh, you know, not being on the field for three, four weeks, I definitely had some uh, some energy reserved um, to kind of unleash on that game. And I think it was uh, it's awfully fun to celebrate with our teammates. We uh, we at Stanford really really enjoy that post game locker room when uh, you know we can be in there with with our guys who we put in. Uh, all the work with week in and week out and uh, celebrate together. Kate Spinello, yeah. you know Super Kate as well as anybody. He yeah, was featured on the drive with you. Him beating cancer, him talking to your team over a week ago, did that have any impact on you and you guys having some perspective on a season that hasn't necessarily gone your way? Absolutely. I mean, um, just starting with me, um, you know, it's, it's not a secret that I was battling myself over the last three, four weeks. Um, you know, got multiple text messages from Mike, his father, of, of pictures um, of Kate sending me messages. And, um, you know, I, I said it to the team when I introduced them on Friday, but <clears throat> to say that Kate is a superstar, you know, would be an understatement. Um, and, you know, the coolest moment I had on Friday was, uh, you know, multiple of my teammates, Connor Weddington and a couple other guys coming up to me saying that, you know, they got the chills listening to, to Kate's story. And I felt like um, the, least, the least I could do was share that with my teammates because I remember five years ago um, at the Elite 11 with you, Yogi, I felt the exact same way um, when I first heard Kate's story. So. It definitely gave us perspective as a team, um, and it definitely gave me a little source of energy um, to go out there and, and sacrifice it all for my boys and teammates. Glad you bring up some of that perspective that you get from being around someone like Cade. You and I got a chance to talk uh, last week, and I got your perspective on how the season has gone. I, I know this is not what you had envisioned, A, from a health standpoint, and then B, from a win-loss standpoint. Just put into words what it's been like now that you're healthy, but what it was also like to watch it from the sidelines. Yeah, I think, um, you know, I got to watch <clears throat> UCLA week with Davis, um, and I think that week was one of the weeks I learned a ton from the sideline. We were actually trying to break down, you know, the, exactly what the defense was trying to do. We were trying to give Jack West the best possible information um, to go out there and be successful. And, you know, we were we really understood the game, talking um, play in and play out in terms of what coverages they were trying to play on third down versus base downs. Um, I think we were we were really able to sit there, um, you know, with our coaches hat on and understand why we may be calling certain plays on third down, why we, why it's so important for our offense to be efficient on first down because it opens up the playbook on second and third. Um, I think it was a huge advantage, um, obviously, sitting on the sideline and learning um, from a vantage point that I haven't really done in uh, probably about three years since my redshirt freshman year. You know what's at stake here. You guys got to get two more to be bowl eligible. Curious if you talk about that, and even within yourself, do you talk about your future? Because there is a world where you can still come back for another season as a quarterback at Stanford. Yeah, I think, you know, just, just recently um, did an interview that said you're 4-4. Four and four. What do you expect the rest of the season? I mean, I expect to be sitting here in four weeks, 8-4. and four. Um, You know, I, Coach Shaw said, you know, he hadn't seen us play our best football yet. I think that is 100% true. I think in the first half, we showed glimpses of our capability and potential. Um, you know, I was fired up in the second half. You know, I know game uh, game plan changes a little bit when you're conserving a win, but <clears throat> I told the team yesterday that that sense of momentum and energy we felt on Saturday two weeks ago, um, we cannot forget what that feels like. And we got to go 1-0 and the next four weeks. I think we match up very well against the next four um, teams, and I think it's going to come down to execution, explosive plays, and winning the turnover battle. Um, and I'm excited to go out and do that.
uh, and fired up. Feel, feel pretty fresh to go out the last four weeks and make that happen. Well, you should be fired up, and I know we can't wait to see you on the football field this Saturday in Boulder on Pac-12 Network. Yogi and I got to spend some time around your football team in August, and there was a lot of buzz around Stanford heading into the season. Your health, obviously, is a game changer now moving forward. This is a different offense with you leading the charge here, so stay healthy down the stretch, all right, KJ? I promise I will. <laughs>